you're gonna have a coffee and then get ready so that we can go? Yeah, I need to do something for work. Okay. Um, hopefully it's gonna be fine. Okay. Good morning, happy Saturday. So we are getting ready to head out the door. We're gonna do a little bit of furniture shopping or at least looking and planning, which I'm really excited for. Juan just made himself a coffee and he's gonna get something done for work really quickly. We did just sell our bar stools, which I'm really excited for. He just, the guy came by and picked them up. So downstairs is like officially like clear of like a lot of like the clutter and the furniture and stuff. Let me actually show you. I'm so excited for it to finally be gone. It's been on our list to sell some of that furniture for so long. Jeez. Here you go, so all the bar stools are gone and I did keep option two. Everybody liked option two so it just kind of stayed this way and I actually really like it as well. So yeah, this is the space so far and I actually got a couple of pillows from Target, love this. I might replace like the inside of it, but I'm just super obsessed with this. So the decorating has started. So like I said, we're gonna do some furniture shopping today. And of course, like I'll bring you along. I have no idea where we're going yet. I mean, for sure, I think we want to look at West Elm, but then we might also head over to University Village because they have like restoration hardware, room and board, crate and barrel, CB2, all like within the same like little area. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Pottery Barn is there as well. I stayed up last night creating like a full board of what I envision and want the space to look like, which is so helpful to do, especially if, I don't know, you're kind of scattered between a few ideas and you're looking across like 10 plus different websites. It was kind of nice to bring everything together in one single page and be like, okay, this would look good. Okay, this will not look good sort of a thing to like narrow it down. So I'm really excited for it. Actually, let me get my computer and I can just show you what I was kind of envisioning. So this is my board for what I'm envisioning downstairs to look like. I wanted a TV stand that's also kind of like a sideboard so that I can put like decor in it and I wanted it opened up as well. This is a lighter color sleeper sofa so it pulls out into a bed. Love the light wood of this coffee table because it would match like the inside wood of here as well. This rug is currently upstairs, but we're getting a new one for upstairs. So I'm just gonna move this one to downstairs. A few art ideas. And I like that some of these colors kind of pull into other areas. And then I was thinking about bringing in like an olive tree or some sort of tree down there, but having a white planter pot to bring in more like lighter elements to this as well. So this is the start. <laughs> of what I got. I was also messing around a little bit with this area. Good news is we just got an email that the second of these chairs is gonna be coming like end of May, beginning of June, which is so great because it was originally supposed to be here about August or so, so it definitely moved up. These are almost the bookcases that we have, so I just wanted to pull in some of the elements that we already have in here to see what kind of like remains. This we found from Room and Board and we wanted something that we could treat like as a bar cart, sort of a, a vibe to like store alcohol and stuff in it. So I think that I like this tone to go with this. It's not a black, it's like a dark ashy wood color. So we're gonna go to Room and Board today and see if I can see like the color of the wood swatch in person. And then as you can see, I have not decided on what sort of side table or a mini miniature coffee table that I want to go kind of like in between the chairs. I'm very undecided at this point in time because I need to get the chairs here and see how much space is left. I was originally just thinking like a mini little drink table by each of them, but these swivel. So I have to be careful of what I get so that if you swivel, you don't like knock it over. Do you know what I mean? And then underneath all of this is the rug that's already there too. So Oh, I'm kind of hot today. But yeah, that's kind of uh, some of the ideas that I'm working with. I got like so into it and so excited about it yesterday that I kind of just like stayed up super late to do this. <laughs> it was so much fun to create. So yeah, I want to see if I can find some of this stuff in person today or just see if there's anything that I kind of missed, but probably start to order things maybe this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. 
pushing that maybe a little bit but i would like to get things ordered because some of these items aren't going to be available to be delivered till like june july time frame so i of course want to put in the order now so that we don't waste any time of getting things here but i want to be pretty sure of the choices that i make as well so that's kind of like why we want to go out and look a little bit today so yeah, thought it would be fun to share that with you guys, a little behind the scenes of the design and kind of like my thought process with what I want to do too. Baby, you almost ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Well, it's still the morning time, keeping it somewhat simple for the jewelry today. Just having like my normal huggies that I like always wear. And then I threw on just these rings. I love like this stackable that I showed in my last vlog. Well, all these rings I showed in my last vlog. This one to form index finger and then this silver like little cable one. I thought that would be cute. And then the Apple Watch, of course. All right, first stop, we're going to RH Outlets. Here's some smaller coffee tables for downstairs maybe has good dimensions. This is like the same one that I have in my condo, but black. This one's too big for downstairs. I do like the color more, only because we're gonna have a black rug, so I don't know if it makes sense to have a black coffee table as well. Keep looking. This could be an option for the TV stand downstairs as well. Kind of like it has drawers. still more expensive than the other one I was looking at though in the um, like drawing thing that I showed you so maybe maybe not <gasps> comfy do you like it I'd imagine it's quiet do you feel like a king you feel like a trap though you're like in a little cocoon I really like this little side table that would, could go like in between the chairs and like the sunroom, that could be a consideration. I don't know though. We're now in West Elm. This is one of like the sofa options. This one doesn't pull out into a bed, but this style, they have an option available that does. I kind of like it. I like the color. I think I would choose like a different fabric in this only because I'm noticing that it's like peeling a little bit right here, but I like the color a lot. This could also be another option. It's kind of like the cloud couch, but not. Things kind of keep their shape a little bit, but I like the color of it and it's more of like a lounge couch for the TV area too. Out to lunch at Mama Molina. This is over in University Village. And I think I'm gonna have the gnocchi, yummy. glasses like this so bad hand glown maybe from mexico love this look oh they have darker ones would you like a kind of a greenish oh these are cool yeah like these a lot those are actually hammered flutes yeah. Yeah, I like this.
don't even know if you can hear us, but we went to Hello Robin and we got six Golden. cookies. Of course I'm gonna show. Are you crazy? Got a couple of classic chocolate chip ones, but also their s'mores one, a snickerdoodle, and a lemon. We're just missing a drink. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I want to try part of just the regular chocolate chip. Mm. Is it snickerdoodle then? Should I try I mean, that? They are so soft. Coke. Diet Coke? Oh, regular Coke. Diet? Oh, regular Coke. Diet? Are you not hearing me? I didn't stutter. it. You have selective hearing. <laughs> What's happening? A Coke. Oh, there you go, puppy. <laughs> Heading on in to Crate and Barrel. Get the door for me, babe. Shelves are adjustable. I really like this painting above it though. Kind of obsessing over this frame. Maybe for the spare bedroom. This could be really, really cool. There's another option. Could work. I don't know if the gray babe though is like gonna match the bookcases. You know, it might be competing grays. Let them go. No. So we're officially on our way back home now. It was, we went to so many places. So many places, right? We went to West Elm, CB2, Crate and Barrel, Home and Board, Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma. RH. We didn't even go to RH. RH Outlet. Oh, yes, we did go to RH Outlet. Yeah, no, so good. I think what I'm most excited about is West Elm because I think we officially picked out the couch that we like. It's different than the one that I thought I was gonna go with and that's mostly because of the fabric availability for the couch. But it was so comfy. It's kind of like a knockoff of the cloud couch without being the cloud couch because the cloud couch, what I don't like about it is all the cushions just look messy and as soon as you sit in it, like it's just, it's a mess. This one kept its structure a little bit more, which I liked. And then I was gonna do like a, like a distressed velvet material for it. So I'm thinking maybe we will make our decision on that this weekend and get that ordered. Same with this coffee table that I really like from West Elm. I'll just like order that together. The things that are still very much up in the air is the bar cards or the credentials that we wanted to treat as a bar cart for that like library room with like the big bookcases and stuff. We like the one from Room and Board that we went there to look at, but I think that the material, like the wood is a little bit different than we thought it was going to be. So we're not sold on it like 100%. So I feel like we still are on the hunt a little bit. There was a couple that we liked at Crate and Barrel that I didn't see on their website. And I think I got the videos and I included it in this vlog. So I don't know. I think the hard thing about the library room is the fact that the bookcases are that gray wood color and it's like impossible to try to find something to match that. <laughs> It's like you have to go the like a black wood route or like a metal route or a light wood color route where I really want to do like maybe like a walnut or something but those tones of the woods I just don't feel like would go. Oh, so it's a little bit challenging. But anyways, I thought it was fun. Ow. And the sun came out and it's so beautiful outside and we got cookies. <laughs> the cookie is just cherry on top. Did you want to stop and get no. your ice cream? 
You don't want ice cream anymore? Are you closing your eyes over there while I'm talking? Am I boring you? Are you falling asleep? You don't know boring me. You tired? I need a nap. You need a nap? Mm, a nap sounds amazing. <laughs> So that's the update from our little outing. Uh, it's now four o'clock, so we were gone for five hours. Five hours. Super gone. I need water. I need water so I can eat more cookies. Or I want to eat coke. I'm gonna have more cookies and I'm gonna lay in bed <laughs> and watch TV <laughs> and take a nap while eating cookies. <laughs> Definitely need to go change into comfy clothes. Okay packages came also i think this is our favorite two options it's like a distressed velvet like i was saying in the car take your votes here we go do you like this creamier wider color or do you like this taupey light color this is called alabaster and this is called sand and this material is like super easy for cleaning up any messes for pets. It's pretty durable. So I think that even if I was to go with the lighter color, it'd be really easy to take care of. So I'm not concerned about it. Also with the couch, the cushion covers like come off so I can always like wash them as well. Don't choose this one just because you are concerned about taking care of this one. You know what I mean? Like which one do you truly like more? <laughs> By the way, my hair is has been killing me all day. Just need to put it up. This is not gonna look good, but I just need to get it out of my face. Okay, I'm excited for this. I ordered another like band for my Apple Watch. I wanted like a gold one to match all my jewelry and stuff. This just doesn't go like this is perfect for if i was to work out like an active band but i also wanted a band for more i don't know to dress up like a dressier one if that makes sense so i got the gold milanese whatever this is called loop one let's try this on I'm so excited so this is what the gold band looks like this is the starlight case I think that, that works and looks good. I may have put it on backwards, but I like that. I'll mess with that in a second. The other thing that came in the mail is I saw that the cargoes for local European came back in stock and I've been really eyeing the camel ones. And so I just placed this order this last week and it already came. That was really, really fast actually. Camel is a little I know, it's a little outside of my comfort zone, but I love these cargo pants so much. You guys know that I have them in the olive color, and then I also have it in black. I wear them so much. They're so comfy. They're honestly like the perfect fitting cargo pants that I've found, and they're like wildly adjustable as well because they have like this band right here. So I get this in a size extra small, small but I do have to get them hemmed up because this is too long. And then when I end up going and get them hemmed up, I lose this, but I don't mind that. This is like really soft. Wow. So these are them. I'm excited. Actually, let's go try these on because I'm really curious. I need to go change anyways because I want to take these jeans off. So a little detour. I feel like I'm in the military or something. So you can make them more high-waisted, like I like to wear them, or you can like make it a little bit lower rise. These ones look like the crotch is like a little bit lower. I honestly really like the way that these ones fit. So you see how long they are, but overall, I feel like they fit really well. Oh, you guys, I am so excited for these. So if I was to wear them like with my pandas,
cute so we'll have to wash these and then i'll just go take them to nordstrom like i do for all of my pants but you have to wash first because always with the first wash things tend to shrink up a little bit like jeans or anything so you want to get it over the hump of the first wash first before you go like get anything tailored because nothing's worse than spending the money to go get something tailored and then it ends up like shorter or fitting different <laughs> okay while i'm up here might as well just do a little haul i had a few things from lululemon come in yesterday and then i also got in a few nike jordans as well you guys got a problem okay so starting with lululemon i saw that they came out with like the mini belt bag and i wanted to get it and see it i really do like this color it's like the trench color and i like just how small and petite it is for any of those reasons that i just need something a little bit smaller than normal belt bag the inside looks identical to the original belt bag too it has like this little pocket here to look still looks pretty spacious this is the iphone 13 pro just the regular size and it fits in here no problem a little bit of a tight fit but can fit in like the back pocket too just for like a reference for the size this is a little bit different back here too like the buckles not as like big and chunky as the original two and this band is a little bit thinner so anyways i think that this one is like really cute i also saw this labbed textured grid set that i thought was really interesting so I got the pullover. It's like a cropped pullover in it. And I got this uh, creamy color. I ended up getting this in a size zero too. I will say for this, the sleeves are a little short on me. And this is coming from someone who's petite and who always complains about Lululemon sleeves being really long. So if you are not a petite and just like a normal size person or tall, I would probably size up in this just to make up for the sleeve size. Hopefully the sleeves would get longer with the sizes changing yeah otherwise i do like the fit of this i think that the material is very unique i don't even know how to describe this inside it's not soft but it's not not soft either and then of course i had to get the matching sets so there's two options for the matching bottoms you could either get the shorts or the joggers and i of course got both to try out so first and foremost with the shorts i would size down in these i went with the size zero and this fits a whole lot better than the size two the size two feels really big and chunky on me and this is a five and a half inch inseam but it seems a little bit longer so um to make up for the fact that the short seam so long i would size down if that makes sense but I love how high-waisted they are. I love obviously the matching set and the material of these. These are really comfy. It says that the fabric is treated with a plant seed based finish to help wick sweat. That's really interesting. It's not super heavy duty either. It feels really breathable and light. Love the drawstring on it and it's actually like this neon color which is really cute. And then similar sediment for the joggers. I would go with the size zero. This does give me like a more fitted jogger look which for this, that's something that I would prefer to have in it. There's two pockets in here. One of the pockets has a little hidden zip pocket too. It still fits really high-waisted, so this top band fits the same as the shorts, which is really nice to see. It says it's a 28-inch inseam, which feels accurate. It does feel a little long, like it bags a little bit at the bottom so depending on how you would want this to fit on you if you like that style go with it if not you can always take it into lululemon with their free alterations and hem it up a little bit for more of just like that normal tapered leg look probably hitting like right above your ankle that would probably be a lot better of a look for me personally so I, I might end up doing that if I keep these but it is kind of interesting that they came out with this now like heading in to spring because I feel like this is a set that I would just like love to wear in like the fall time for sure i mean the shorts i can wear that now but at least for like the jogger part of it and then moving on over to nike jordans just randomly was on the nike app and these were just in stock so yeah kind of looked out on that these are both kid size three i love doing that as you guys know because it's so much cheaper and i really like these colorways because they're very very neutral so i got this black pair 
that is suede, but then it has like a white back to it. I thought that this was a lot of fun. I know that they're really similar to my pandas. Here's the pandas. But for those days that I want a little bit of a mid to it too, I don't know. I just, in my opinion, I don't feel like I can get enough black and white shoes because they're the shoes that I gravitate the most towards. So the most versatile, which is great. This bottom is unique because it looks like it has like an iridescent look to it a little bit. So I like that the bottoms are different and it's not just like a standard black and it kind of has like a white, more of like a white look, but still includes the black. I think that's really fun. And then the other pair that I got, what colorway are you? Light smelt gray, white, and anthracite. I think it's what it's called. A gray pair, finally. Such a good neutral base that I can pair with obviously everything. It's kind of just like a black. So finally adding a gray one to my collection. I thought that this was black, but it looks like a really dark gray. And I really like that. The bottom of them are gray to match like this gray throughout. So yeah, really fun pair. So happy I got these. I keep seeing both of these come in and out of stock on the Nike's website. So go check them out. But again, for reference, I get a kid size three and I am a women's five. So I feel like that works the best for me. And I think that these were like 60 or $70 versus the women's is like 120, I think for mids. And then the lows are a hundred. Anyway, if you can, I always recommend try to get kid sizes because you save yourself some money. <laughs> so it's dinner. We just got sushi to go. We're not really hungry, but we wanted like a little bit of something. And you guys, <laughs> when I was getting out of the car to get into the house, I brushed up against my car and I got myself all dirty. What the heck? My car is so dirty. It's it's pretty embarrassing actually. Once it gets that dirty and I want to take it to like a detailer, like someone to go, someone to like really clean the inside and the outside too. It's like, I want to save it for when there's enough sunny days in a row so that it's not like a waste of money. <laughs> so I feel like at this point I'm just holding out for nicer weather. <laughs> does that make any sense to no. you? It doesn't? No. Speaking from someone who also has a dirty car. Not as dirty. You don't know that it's not as dirty because your car isn't white. Not as dirty. Think about it. No, I want to rip it. Okay, so sushi. Juan got a Philadelphia roll, and then I just got some good old classic California rolls. Easy peasy, then. Easy. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. We're also watching a little bit of TV. Last week we started watching, what's it even called? It's the Magic Johnson show on HBO. It's called something like Winning the, winning. the Los Angeles Lakers Dynasty. Something mm. like that. Yeah, but it has so many good actors in it. It's really good, it's really fun. Yeah, it is actually really good too. Go to find out though. Looks like Magic Johnson wasn't a part of the making of this. Drama! <laughs> I don't know if it actually is drama or not, but. <laughs> so here's the deliciousness. Okay, let's go eat some dinner. Good morning. I am still in my pajamas. It's been such a slow morning for me just the way i like my sundays honestly oh man but i decided it's time to get up get ready and uh try to accomplish some stuff today so i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup i think i'm just gonna like rush through this and speed it up but i did want to give the dibs beauty products another go but i wanted this to be like a no makeup makeup look i did actually use this contour yesterday for my makeup look the one 0.5 and I really really like this one somehow like when I start to add in the um, The blush and stuff it starts to like separate a little bit So I'm gonna try this no makeup makeup look where I'm not doing foundation underneath to see if that kind of like helps to prevent like the separation. I did yesterday when I was adding it in, I did wait to put on my concealer until after I did this and that actually helped a lot. But anyway, so let's see what we get into today. 
I want it to be a really chill day. <laughs> To be honest i'm still torn on if i like the dibs beauty products but we'll see how it wears throughout today i think for me it's just like the tone of the products at least for my skin tone and it blends out really easy but it blends out to almost sheer so i feel like you have to add quite a bit to build up and then i have lots of pigmentation just on my face in general from my melasma and stuff so it doesn't really cover anything and all of my pigmentation just like shows through and there's a fine balance with that for me, so this is what it is. Okay, my camera died when I was in the middle of talking about my makeup. But yeah, I think I like it. I mean, after the camera died, I went and looked at it in the mirror up close, and I actually think it looks like glowy and more natural. So I might take back some of what I said, but I do think that it looks pretty good. So now I'm like fully dressed <laughs> since the camera died, and I'm putting on my shoes. We're gonna run to Whole Foods to get things for lunch. Juan came up and we talked about lunch a little bit. I've decided I'm gonna wear these new shoes. Keep it pretty casual today. Just have on some like matching socks for Robert's Day that matches the sweatshirt, some aligned leggings, and then underneath I just have on this tank top from Lululemon as well. It's like the ribbed long line one let's go oh did i get a bunch of oh look at that it's hot in here right i don't know i don't know i've been kind of hot lately which is weird for me because i'm always cold let's go let's go let's go oh lazy little babe what are you doing did I wake you? Wow. Hi. <laughs> he clearly does not want to be bothered at all. Look at that. <laughs> this always happens right before we're leaving. <laughs> okay, so while we're waiting for him, forgot to share with you guys that I did finally get some pictures to put in these picture frames above the console table. I'm so in love with them. Juan and I, as you guys know, love our hiking. So a few of these right here and right here are from hiking. This little cutie one, this is from Snow Lake. This is from fall a few years ago, just around like the neighborhood and stuff. Thought it was a really cute picture. And then this one is from last summer in Hawaii. So yeah, two of them are landscape pictures and then just one is portrait. Love it though. I love the colors that it brings. I debated doing black and white photos, but I decided to keep them in the color. And I just kind of like made like two blue match with the one in the center too. So 
Juan's outfit today is really cute too. He is head to toe Lululemon. Do you want to show? Are you posing? He has, I think that this is called the at ease pullover. It's like a textured like pullover. It's really cute. And then he has on the Surge joggers. He really likes these. He wears these every Monday like when he goes plays soccer as like a cover up over like his shorts and his gear and stuff. But cute. You ready? So we are stopping at Blazing Onion to pick up a side dish. We couldn't decide on like in Whole Foods what we wanted to make. <laughs> and we were originally going to order onion rings, but when we called, they were out of onion rings. So we kind of pivoted and ordered just like a big box of fries. Like we're just not a fan of store-bought fries. They just, they do not taste all that good and I've tried a lot of different brands so we're just gonna do this but for lunch we're gonna make some burgers the normal burger patties that we always get from Whole Foods they were out of stock and they've been out of stock for like over three weeks a month I don't I don't know what's happening there must be some sort of like shortage obviously and same with like the exact buns that we get like what what's up Whole Foods like what's happening what's the deal <laughs> so we ended up getting these different style of brioche buns and then we got patties from from like the butcher block. So I'm actually really excited to try these patties. Juan's inside, I'm looking at him, <laughs> picking up the fries and then we're gonna go home and start, start making everything. I am so hungry, it's 1.25 right now. So I cannot wait for lunch, looks like it's not ready. Wow, I cannot believe today's May 1st. May 1st, where has this year gone? Holy crap, May is, also my birthday month, <laughs> another year older. I'm just getting wiser, no? Older and wiser. I don't know why, now that I'm reflecting on it a little bit, I don't know why I care all that much because every new year that I experience is my favorite year yet. Like I really do feel like just life and everything gets better with age, at least for me. So I'm actually looking forward to a new year and all the new experiences to come with that. Where are you going? Boys will be boys. There was a car in the parking lot and he was like, is that a Ferrari? So I think he's gonna go look at it. <laughs> oh my God, boys. What a weirdo. Is it? What is it? What? What is it? Corvette. Oh, it's a Corvette. Far from a Ferrari. The nails are going so strong, by the way. I catch myself staring at them. How ridiculous is that? I seriously forgot how much I enjoy getting my nails done. It just, I feel like, makes my whole life just look so much more put together. I don't know what it's all about. What, Red Robin, my free birthday burger is here? Speaking about birthdays, great. You get a free burger. Ah, it's here. Yummy. Does anyone else like immediately change when they get home? It's like a requirement. These are the brioche buns that we got to try out this time. And then we have our burgers. So here's your skirt steak. Do you wanna put that in the freezer? And then we got like tons of cheeses cause we're thinking we're gonna do like another cheese fondue this week. So I'm excited for that. Maybe tomorrow, some bananas, garlic. This potato loaf looks so good and tasty. Have that, with these from yesterday. These crackers are like the best, especially if you spread cream cheese and stuff on it. I'd like a little snack. Delicious. Some wine for the cheese fondue. Okay, what do you need? Oh, here's the burgers. Yum. So I'm gonna make the little avocado and red onion mix that we like to put on top of the burgers. 
and just realized that we do not have cheddar cheese, which is typically the cheese that we like to put on our burgers. So I'm gonna cut up some Gouda <laughs> and we're gonna have this on our burgers instead. I cannot not have cheese. It just doesn't make any sense. And here we have it, lunch is ready. We have the avocado and red onion mix. We got the buns that we toasted, our burger patties with the Gouda cheese on top and then our French fries that we got. I'm gonna have some kombucha for lunch as my drink. Juan's gonna have some Diet Coke. I also forgot to take my probiotic this morning. So I'm gonna take that right now. Oh, do you want ketchup? Mmm. Are you just gonna use these sauces? No, that's for the fries. That's mine. Shut up. Are you going to have mine? Wow. Babe, they gave us two of each. Did Chill. Don't take five. Right. Having avocado on your burger is just like life changing. <clears throat> well, that's a burger. We asked for little dips with our fries from the restaurant. So we got chipotle mayo and ranch. I love having ranch with my french fries. How is it? Great. I was telling Juan earlier, I think that this is turning into my Coke replacement because it's carbonated. So it's giving me a little bit of that carbonation that I like from Coke, even though I really just like Coke because I like the taste of Coke and you can't really replace that for me. But this I think is a good substitute for me because of the carbonation aspect. And I don't like sparkling water or any of those sparkling drinks. And this is healthier, so healthier than Coke. Yeah. Yep. Tasty. Mm. Can you press the power button? I can't reach it. It was a pull. right now i honestly cannot believe how late it is time has really flown by on this sunday it's already after 8 30. after lunch Juan and i were just watching some tv shows and then he was working a little bit and playing elden ring and then i was doing a little bit of shopping and looking for like upcoming videos i am gonna do like an amazon activewear video it is been so long since I've done one so I've just been scouring Amazon to find like the best of the best stuff that I have not already like tried before and then also we did end up booking a trip too so then I was doing a little bit of like a vacation shopping too I mean the trip that we're going on is in like two weeks and it's just like a really quick trip just so that we can get a vacation in we just desperately want some time off to enjoy the sun and all like that sort of stuff so this is like a mini trip before like any major summer trips that we're gonna plan to so i don't i'm not gonna do too much planning for this one like too much like outfits and like all that stuff right but i at least wanted to get a little something i have like a hair right at my nose i can feel it so anyways it's pretty much what we've been doing and then 
I am just gonna like take it easy and watch probably some more TV. I'm just gonna put the computer down and finish that up a little bit later. But I wanted to go ahead and end off the vlog here as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me. It was really, really fun. Lots of planning, lots of decor, lots of just things going on around here, which is really exciting. Hopefully you guys had a great weekend yourselves and I will just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.